As a woman dealing with infertility, there is literally no worse day than Mother's Day. You literally can't avoid it. Mother's Day here in Canada is the second Sunday in May, and promotions and advertisements start as early as Valentine's Day. It's everywhere you look, in every ad you hear. It's a day that seems to mock you with its very existence. When I was a little girl, I knew exactly what I wanted in life. I wanted a husband, a house, a dog, kids. When people would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I wanted to be a mommy. My whole story is a story for another day, but I, man, I know the pain of facing Mother's Day with an empty womb, feeling useless and less than. And to top it all off, there was not a year that went by that I didn't deal with well-meaning, <laughs> well-meaning, sweet aunts, uncles, church ladies that would tilt their head and go, maybe next year, or why not you? My personal favorite was when people would say, and when are you going to make Justin a father? Like I was not doing my duty as a wife and a person and a woman, and I was causing him unhappiness by not giving him a child, because it was all on me. For a video about when it's okay to ask people when they're going to have babies, click the card. It's an old video, but it's still one of my favorites. Not much better were the people who actually thought they were being comforting. It will happen when it's supposed to. Just relax and give it time. It's all in God's perfect timing. The thing about all these things is that they're not wrong, exactly. We know them. That's the problem. We've heard them a hundred times from our doctors, from ourselves, from our husbands, from our partners, from 800,000 people who all have well-meaning intent. We know, we know, we know. It doesn't make it any easier and we don't want to hear it. We also know when there's an issue and when we're seeking help. But the thing is, we don't always want the world to know about that. So now I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist. I'm just a person with experience who's been there. So take this advice with a grain of salt. And if you have friends who are dealing with infertility issues, who are trying to have kids, who are struggling, feel free to share this video with them if you think it will help them. Because in my time of struggle, I wish I had more people giving me this kind of advice. So what do you do? How do you handle this day? Gauge your emotions. How are you feeling? How are you doing? How is your partner doing in all of this? How are you doing together? Maybe this year for Mother's Day, it's a time to just go away on your own or with your partner or with a bunch of girlfriends, if you can do that with the current world situation right now, go away to a hotel for a weekend or something, go and get a spa treatment if you can, if there's no lockdown where you are right now, but go and treat yourself to a special time for yourself. Just avoid it all. Sometimes that's necessary. Maybe you just need to stay home from a Mother's Day brunch that may be being planned for your mother or your mother-in-law or another mother figure in your life. Talk it over with that person and maybe arrange to do a coffee or a brunch or a walk another time. And if this is a person you are comfortable sharing with, maybe explain to them what the situation is and how you just want to withdraw a little from this day. Maybe this is a good day or weekend for you to just spend some time with yourself physically. Go for a bike ride, go for a hike, go for a run, work out. Spend time with your partner exercising, being physical. You know what I mean. Exercising, working out. That's what I meant. <laughs> but give yourself a physical goal to meet. This may be a good day to spend some time with yourself. Maybe be introspective, journal, pray, read your Bible, read a book, do some yoga, do some quiet exercise by yourself. Doing something physically or mentally active for yourself could be a good way to keep your mind occupied for this day. This could be a good day to spend some energy and time on other women and caretakers that you love and admire and look up to. Take care of your mother, take care of your mother-in-law. Think about teachers and caretakers and people that you know that look after others and spend time looking after them. They don't have to be mothers themselves either. Do something kind for those who take care of others. We're celebrating women who take care of us, take care of others, take care of children, take care of youth. Maybe this can be a day to care for those people. Do something kind or show some care to teachers that you know. Maybe child care providers or female leaders in your church or even neighbors. Consider 
buying bouquets of flowers and giving them out to strangers. Who doesn't love just the kindness of being given a flower? And you could distract yourself by blessing others. Whatever it is that you choose to do to face this day, try to have a plan but try to be flexible in that plan. If you have a plan going in and you wake up in the morning of Mother's Day and you are completely overwhelmed and you can't think about handling that, be prepared to completely change course and spend that day by yourself if you need to. Try to have someone to talk to if you need to. But most importantly, show yourself compassion and grace. This is not an easy road. Dealing with infertility, whether it's only been for a short time or for years, is a roller coaster. This is a hard time, kind of just in general, but especially this time in your life. Be gentle with yourself, show yourself compassion and grace, and breathe. You are not alone. Others are on this road with you, and you are so strong. If you feel like this video will be helpful to somebody you know who's going through something like this, please feel free to share it with them. Share this with women that you know, women's groups, and please consider liking this as well. My journey with infertility will be a story for another day. Until next time, take care.